Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how we can use a Lingo software to solve a binary integer programming. Uh, as you see, I prepared a model for you here. We have objective function and three constraints. And important things here, the decision variables are binary variables. So let's go to the Lingo program. If you check our previous videos, you can see that how we can download the Lingo program uh, with free of charge and use them in order to solve some uh, integer, linear, and nonlinear programming. So here I'm going to make it a bit minimized, too easy to see. Okay, so this is our model. We have a minimization and three constraints. So first we have to use a type of the objective function, which is mean. Then we have to put the equal sign. Then we have to uh, enter the objective function. So here we have 3x1, 3 multiplied by x1. As I explained in the previous videos, you have to use a star sign in order to show the multiplication between the decision variable and objective function coefficient. 6 multiplied by x3 and so on. So if you don't use the uh, star sign for multiplication as I did in the last value 10x6 so when you want to solve the program give the error it's called error code 11 and it shows that there is a problem here you have to use a, a star for the multiplication so this is the code error that is given to you and don't forget when you enter a function it can be objective function constraint or some other things you have to put a semicolon at the end of the line to show that the function is completed then now we are going to enter the three different constraints So I enter all the variable with the, for the left hand side, then we have to put the sign greater than equal to, the right hand side is 2. And at the end, when I complete the first constraint, put the semicolon at the end of the function. Now I'm going to enter the information for the second constraint.
Okay, so I enter all the information for the all three constraints. I'm going to check again if I uh, did a mistake here. So it seems that there is no any mistake in the entering the data. Okay. So now what's remain is the decision variable which is binary. The software, the lingo programs automatically consider that the decision variable are non-negative. This is the by default is defined in the program. But here we have a new constraint and it says that xi are binary. So in order to explain or show that the decision variable are binary, we have to use a specific function function and this function is called at b which is show that the decision variable is binary now for each decision variable we have to uh, enter them separately so at bin x1 into the parentheses and at the end you have to put semicolon so at bin must be used for all of the variable so I'm going to write one and copy it, the function and paste for the other. So two, three, four, five, and six. So this is for x2, this is for x3, this is for x4, five, and for x6. At the end, you have to put the end to show that the um, formulation is completed. So as you see we enter the objective function constraint and we explain that show that the decision variable are binary. Now we can uh, go to the ribbon and press the solve option. So as you see the first window shows that the optimal solution is found and the value for objective function is 11 and this is the more details about the problem and decision variable uh, as you see here it says that the global optimal solution found the objective function value is 11 and this is the value for decision variable and these are the reduced cost so the value for x1 is 0 x2 is 1 x3 is 0 and x4 5 and 6 is r0 thank you very much